morning and welcome to Jams with Jesus on this Thursday, or sorry, Wednesday, <laughs> November 23rd. Um, the scripture reading daily lectionary from the Conference of Bishops, Catholic, Roman Catholic Bishops, comes from Revelation 15, 1 to 4. I saw another sign in heaven, great and awe-inspiring seven angels holding the seven final plagues which would bring God's wrath to a climax. Then I saw something like a sea of glass commingled with fire. On the sea of glass were standing there, were standing those who had won the victory over the beast and its image and the number that signified its name. They were playing the harps used in worshiping God and they sang the song of Moses, servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Mighty and wonderful are your works, O God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O rulers of the nations. Who would dare refuse your honor or the glory due your name, O God? Since you alone are holy, all nations will come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. So whenever I'm in the book of Revelation, a couple things. One is there's so much imagery that uh, doesn't, you know, for, for somebody who's rather analytical and, and pragmatic, you're, you're entering into apocalyptic imagery and apocalyptic language where there's a lot of symbolism, uh, some of which has been deciphered that makes sense. The, you know, certain things in, in, in allusion to the current state of when it was written for Rome. Um, but other things are, are still a mystery to us. But this vision, this, the overall sense that from the arc of creation through full redemption in the book of Revelation, uh, of a sense where God's will uh, fully, fully permeates life. Uh, and it's, it is a vision beyond my capacity to truly understand. So it's a promise I hold to. It's a promise I can relate to just simply from a matter of, um, again, using rational thought, <laughs> which is not seen as the right way, but how I do it is to say, you know, a hundred years ago I didn't exist and yet I exist now. So, so God somehow brought me into being and then through through life, certainly there's been some challenges, but there's been enough beauty, enough enough times. Whereas some of the poets write, where the where the the veil gets thin between this life and what is to come, and you see enough of those moments or experience enough of those moments in life to say there's without a doubt something more than what I can physically see, touch, or interact with. That there's there's more to life. And, and thankfully to be raised in a family, to have experienced uh, God's love, to not be fearful of what is to come, even though there's uncertainty. Uh, we've got these wonderful promises and then enough life experience to say, I trust in you, God. Uh, now, again, the other thing that really jumped out at me here, and, and it may remind me back to intern Courtney's sermon on Sunday, is when it says um, they were playing the harps used in worshiping God and they sang the song of Moses so the first testament or what we sometimes call the Old Testament and the song of the Lamb the song of Jesus the risen one so once again showing there's this great continuity of God's story um, so that's about what I have for this morning so let's pray holy God from the dawn of creation and, and before that for you um, through to the current day and off into the future that you hold in your hands we pray for you to give us a sense of your peace and presence in our lives give you thanks for the many joys um, in our lives and pray for your encouragement during the difficult days um, give you thanks for the gift of community where we can encourage and uplift one another and receive that encouragement from others during our times of need. Help us as a community of faith to draw forth from one another the gifts and talents you've given to each and every person that populates this earth, that we can um, be a blessing one to another 
and help shape that community that is reflective of your desire for wholeness, peace, and shalom. Uh, be with those families who are still grieving um, the tragic shootings um, in Colorado and then the ones yesterday, last night in Virginia, and help us as a society come to terms with this craziness that um, of violence and, and uh, fear and things that just draw us away from one another. So help us reach out to our neighbors with a smile, with a sense of encouragement, and with also an ability to listen to one another. And these things we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you have a blessed day today as you might be doing some final preparations or beginning preparations <laughs> for Thanksgiving tomorrow. Um, and then uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning for about what might be a very abbreviated one, but nevertheless, we'll see you tomorrow morning. God's peace be with you.